Hello everyone, this is Vignesh from JFrog Support. In this video, I'm going to show a quick demo on how to install Artifactory and XA using the Helm charts. Let's go ahead and get started. I would like to quickly go through the agenda on what are the steps we will be performing uh, on this short demo. First, I'll be showing you on how to add the chart center Helm repository to your Helm charts, followed by I'll be showing the instructions on how to install the Artifactory and how to retrieve the JFrog URL and join key from the UI. Using the join key and JFrog URL, I'll be installing the X-ray using the Helm charts. And then I'll be proceeding with the final verification and will show you how the X-ray and Artifactory will look in the platform. Now let's see how to add the chart center Helm repository to your Helm charts. Let me quickly open the terminal at my end. Now, to add the chat, chat center repository to your Helm charts, I'm going to execute this command, Helm repo add center followed by the chat center dot IO URL. Once the center repository is uh, added, you will be getting the successful message. Now let's go and do a Helm repo list. So this will show the list of uh, repositories currently available in your local lab. Now we added the chart center repository and we confirmed it from the terminal as well. Let's go ahead and uh, use the instructions uh, available here in the presentation on how to install the Artifactory. And I have uh, also mentioned the sample command for your this. If you would like to verify the list of available versions for Artifactory, I would prefer running the Helm search hyphen L command along with the center repository so that it will show all the list of available charts and diversions like this. We got an output with all the possible versions for the Artifactory, Artifactory hyphen charts, OSS, and the container registry. As you could see, the chart version 11.4.4 and the app version 7.10.5 is being the latest. I'm going to install those specific version in my local and uh, I'll be showing how the Artifactory looks like. I'm using this command to install Artifactory under the Artifactory namespace. Hyphen set Artifactory.image version denotes the corresponding app version of Artifactory and hyphen hyphen version 11.4.2 denotes the corresponding chart version of Artifactory. Let's wait for a couple of minutes so that uh, it will try to deploy the Artifactory and the corresponding PVC and the state feature will get this deployed then. After executing the command, I could see the Artifactory job is being initialized. To confirm that, I used kubectl get pods hyphen and Artifactory and I could see the artifactory pod is getting uh, initialized on the up and down. So it will take a few more minutes. Now I could see all the pods are in uh, running state and uh, I'm able to access the artifactory using the cluster IP as I'm using the engine which has a load balancer that which is coming to the artifactory helm charts. In order to get the cluster IP of the Nginx or the DNS name, which is configured, we can use a kubectl get svc hyphen and artifactory. Hyphen and artifactory is nothing but the namespace. So let me go ahead and execute it. As you could see, there is a corresponding load balancer external IP for artifactory Nginx service. So artifactory should be accessible using this 35.236.7.190 IP. Let me try accessing that uh, external IP address in the browser and I should be able to see the Artifactory URL. I could confirm that Artifactory is up and running from the UI. Let me go ahead and uh, try to reset the admin password. After resetting the admin password, we would need to use the valid license key and set the JFrog platform uh, base URL and then configure the default proxy any uh, available and then click finish so that you would be ready to use Artifactory. 
Now I'll uh, quickly go to the security section settings to retrieve the giant key on the JFrog URL. I'll be providing the current password to retrieve the connection details. Once after providing the password here, we can uh, see the joint key on the JFrog URL available here. So let's take this values and use it in Excel to install uh, using the Let us go to the next slide. In this uh, sample command, uh, I just configured a basic syntax on how to use the join key on the JFrog URL in the Helm update install command to install Excel. Let's go ahead and try replacing the join key on the JFrog URL and uh, install Excel. Here, I try to use the Helm install hyphen I mean Excel uh, command to in install the Excel. It would take a few minutes to get it installed. Let's wait for a couple of minutes and then we will see how it is being reflected on the platform URL. To verify the current status of the X-ray pods, I'm executing the kubectl get pods hyphen in X-ray command to get the current status. And I could see the X-ray pod is currently up and running. We should be able to see the corresponding uh, X-ray tab in the platform UI. Let's go and verify that. As mentioned before, I could see the security and compliance tab uh, is being enabled now with watch and policy configurations. We can uh, try go and go ahead uh, to create some corresponding policy rules for the security vul uh, vulnerabilities and uh, configure the policy and the rules for the watch configuration. And then uh, we can uh, try to see the index resources uh, based on the UI option available here. Currently, as it is a new installation, I'm not uh, seeing uh, any configure repository under it. So just to confirm, uh, we have uh, successfully installed the X-ray and integrated with Artifact Week. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let's catch up on another video. Until then, goodbye.